Previously on Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth 2 Sisters Generation. Very well. Then allow me to give you this. A gun! <laughs> you shit! I heard that freaking sound effect. And the first thing I thought of was a freaking gun. Just matching his watch is like pulling a fucking gun at Nef Gear. <laughs> End gear <laughs> received. And now back to the anime waifu's electric boogaloo. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jirabi Therian bringing you another episode of Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth 2 Sisters Generations. Oh my god, it's gonna be a mouthful, I'll just know it. We last left off, we begin our next adventure. Well, actually, our technically our first adventure within this series. Uh, technically. Where essentially, we are now playing as Nepgear, the CPU candidate of Planetune, who is setting out on a journey to essentially collect shares to get enough power to save her sister Neptune and the other CPUs. From the clutches of this organization called a Sick, which basically like is an organization that's based off of piracy that warships are for. And we kinda don't know what their plans are, to be honest. We just we just know that like our sisters are in danger, we need to save them. The fucking sexy females we play this game series four are not gonna be available for a while. Man, what a fucking ripoff. Now well, at least we got our usual yo know, duo, Kampa and Iffy, back. At least now I can finally finally get back to making Kampa jokes. And it's gonna be so fun. I just know it's gonna be so freaking fun. And we finally get to meet Nepgear, who is essentially the same voice actor as uh you know, Rinwell from Tales of Arise, and also a very prominent female, you know, voice actor within certain anime games. To the point where, like, I can actually recognize her from a mile away. So yeah, we, we basically just, like, start off on our, like, uh, jury and such, where, like, uh, you know, well, uh, we get to play as Nepgear, and now we have to, you know, search for these... I think they're, like, called spirits, right? The spirits of game industry, which were basically, like, uh, based off the mascots of these four, like, uh, regions and such. So, I think they were called, uh, you know, mascots, essentially. So, we're going to meet the mascot of Planetune, which, which case, I don't remember if I actually touched upon this, but, you know, essentially, Planetune is based off of the Sega, of Sega, I think. Like, the company Sega. While Last Station is obviously based off of PlayStation. And Lean Boss is based off of the the Xbox and such, while Louie is based off of the uh, of the Nintendo. In which case, I have one question for like the devs of the Neptunia series: How in the fuck did they get away with referencing Nintendo in this game? How in the fuck did they get away without like Nintendo just butchering them to, to a million pieces? I have no clue. They, I think they've done this for like uh, five games, maybe six. And somehow just got away scot free. That's kind of hilarious. Like everyone talks about how Nintendo will just fuck over everything that basically has a Mario hat in a promotional video. But Hyper Dimension Neptunia? Nah, they get to do that like five times. But anyways, let's get started with this episode. So basically, we gotta like talk to these like uh, individuals over here. The uh, freaking yo. That's just one person. Okay. Nepugia. Yeah, stop talking, guys, please. Nepugia. Oh, okay. You look like an evil Neptune. Nep gear. Want to know what's under my skirt, do you? Well, maybe for you, I can. <coughs> Did you think I was Nep gear? Wrong! It's me, Nep gear! Okay. Jesus Christ. Acting like deal over here. Okay, I gotta talk to all these people now. Uh, first off, Nep gear. Planet Tower, huh? I wonder if it can transform into a giant robot. I guess people would get mad if I tinkered with it. Still. Variety is the spice of life, right? I guess so, Nepgear, but I don't know about you know, doing that to the tower. There's a tower here? Oh, that tower. I guess it's called Planet Dune Tower. Okay, I can't. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Fucking Christ, please. Please have mercy. I don't have money this time. Here's a plan to change the to the dungeon, ya. I'm back. I got you, ya. Give it a shot, ya. How much? The starting price of $100. What? That's the starting price? Are you serious, Akashi? Oh, God. This begins. All right, Stella. Huh. Interesting. Who are you? Here's a plan to unlock Stella's dungeon. It's a mini game where I stroll through the world's dungeons. Can't wait to go out on my very own adventures. All right. Yeah, I gotta remember to, like, do that for, like... I don't think there's any reason for me to come back to virtual forest, so... Yeah. Hey, Miss Manuel. Oh, great. Do you have some more worthless tips? 
About materials. Sell them as shops for credits. If you have a lot of them, just sell them. Alright, I'll be sure to keep that in mind. I definitely won't forget about that. Machine type monsters. They resist most physical attacks. I would suggest using magic against anything robotic. Okay. I'll keep that in mind too. About the remake system. Use it to introduce new features, dungeons, and items via plans. When you get one, go ahead and try to create what's on it. Oh, that's right, I forgot. I kind of forgot. I was wondering why I couldn't find the hidden item in Virtual Force. I probably had to, like, add items to it. But be careful. We'll need sufficient MV to make them. Alright, I'll be sure to keep that in mind. 2D Dude. My girl isn't appearing on the screen. Why? After all we've been through. My waifu. Yeah, sure, whatever, Mr. Schizo. I'm still fight a god dang. Mr. Eno. There's no problem. Use this plan. Get the best items possible. I'll refuse to elaborate further to leave and give it a shot. Alright, sure. Sure thing. Thanks, dude. Alright, what are you all about? Oh god, it's him again! The drug dealer! Why, hello there. I believe you use this now. Oh my god, it's you again, dude! How long's it been? Five years, my favorite drug addict serial killer. How have you been? Oh, I've been doing PG totally fine! I do have to go up against like, a weird religious organization that kind of like kills people. But hey, competition! Am I right? Yeah, totally. Good luck, cop out. You're my best girl. Yeah, you're my best man! Cassette received. Floppy dis dis received. Come back when you be a powerful enemies, but when you go up in rank, I'll give you another disc then. Oh, we're back in basis, boys. From the, from the jokes in Rebirth 1. Disc. You can create unique equipable items by burning idea chips. Abilities onto blank discs. Depending on the idea chip used, a godly game may result, which will grant you an additional ability. Alright, sure thing. Obtaining discs. Obtain large medals by defeating tough enemies. And exchange them from blank discs from Mysterious Man and Planet Tune. Idea chips used when burning blank discs can be obtained from a variety of methods. Alright. Keep that in mind too. Oh, let me check the uh, quest then. Oh jeez, there's a lot of stuff here. Avenge my cousin. Oh god, it's a lot of like... Okay, let me like go through these then. Planet Tune, D-Bag. One of my cousins, Karanoff, is bald that has no clothes on his upper body. He looks like a fat old man, but he can blow fire. He totally rocks, but he was attacked by bosses, got injured. Please avenge Karvanov. Alright, sure. I think that's like... Yeah, Furrif Sulfur. We're gonna find that thing. In Seeking Nepal. Uh, Executive Director Yuzawa. Fires are struggling to crush the criminal syndicate. I'd like to offer some aid as a token of our company's support. If we give the entry drink called Nutball, which CPU Purple Heart created, they will be satisfied. Rubber with her gone, no left their over resource recipe remain. They want to make Nutball for us? Alright, I can do that too. I basically just got it. Train Regiment. Hana does City. I should, I should probably make check, you know, pay attention to like the shares as well. So, Hana does City. I'm the chief. Ordered to train the anti crime corps by Yasuar. But due to their intention, some of my men have been injured. As part of their training, I will have them make potions for herbs. So be a lot of herbs. Alright, got that too. I'll never stop. My childhood buddy with a big head is kind of meddlesome at times, but it's basically a good friend. Word. My pal, I learned a fortune from a negative ion generator. Yo, help me collect these components. What the fuck is up with you, dude? This language. Okay, Three Kingdoms Lovers. Oh, this is one that's about, like, giving more to R4. I probably should be wary of that, but I'll do that just for the sake of the reward. So, Three Kingdoms Lover. Missile Company. I'm developing a historically accurate game starring only sexy anime girls. Okay. But you know what? Even though we have to submit the Master of Rom soon, we only finished two of the main, of the nine main heroine scenarios. Well, maybe I should try to tie the entire staff to their deaths and force them to finish it. Give me a story, story rope! Okay, dude. Fucking real workers abuse. For her sake, D-Bag. Franz lost her balance from the negative ion generator's shock and then got nailed by a random dried mushroom and died. Punk! What the f- What? <laughs> What's these stories? Therefore, I shall never forgive any mushroom of the whole world. I'll be exterminating all mushrooms in a virtual forest. Okay, sure, dude. You, you clearly have some problems. Okay, emergency hunting request. Hana does city. He swear. I have five witnesses account around the fierce monster. Hold on. Thank you. Just, no, no. I have five witness accounts about the fierce monster in Planet Two Suburbs. We have not yet received word of any damage to the city, but it will be too late to re react once the damage is already done. Can any guild agents help us? All right, I'll help you, Istwar. Might as well. In Hoenin, 
Mary Mary Memorial. President Onami. All of Gaming Streets are shot. The release date for updating them about girls who love trees is here at last. The tree in this game actually exists, but it's surrounded by monsters, and we can't go to the tree to build up on our reference material. Please defeat the monsters for the sake of our game's release. What the fuck? Okay, I'll do that too. With a piranha flower. Hello, my name is Yuzuwa, the executive director of Zika Inc. I was attacked by a monster a few days ago, and it really stings. The monster had red p p petals and a white pattern, but I think it was a hired assassin. It's possible that it may strike again. So can I have someone to exterminate it? All right, too. All right, all right, I'll do it. All right, let's report some of these quests. Get this. Seek a silver anklet. Detoxin. I can get that. A little bracelet. Okay, you just say get these at least one. So, all right. This development. Let's see cassettes. Yeah, this is for like uh getting good stuff with it. But I had to get this stuff first, so. Not yet, at least. Oh, sweet, so uh, she got new weapons now. A Pippin. An odd cre green creature with shockingly sexy legs. Th is this really a weapon, or is it a strange, uh, sentient being? Hold on, let me, like, uh... Here it is. <laughs> okay! I, I think I... Uh... Uh... Where have I seen this before? I feel like I've seen this before somewhere. I don't remember, to be honest. <laughs> okay, it's funny. Geha Burn Anime. This version of the Geha Burn was seen in an incredibly popular smash hit anime called Happy Dimension Neptunia. Go buy it. Yeah, I remember like uh you know uh watching the anime as it's actually my first introduction into this series, the anime. And I thought I thought it was like a weird like looking anime hit, honestly. It's like but it had like a lot of good looking colors. I actually did like the anime. Even though it kinda of didn't make it any sense at all. Beam Zapper Zero. Nepgear made this prototype weapon by hand one day when Neptune wasn't giving her enough attention. She wants it to be the next gen standard. Okay. Let's see. Which one's the best one? I think it's this one. Yeah, this one's the best one so far. So I'll keep this one. I'll probably end up like one shotting all the enemies in this game. And a little bracelet and a rubber band. Uh luck. You get less luck, but it get more defense. Which could be nice. Complicate anything? Nope, she doesn't. All right. I think it's more like a you know defense, so that's her. And more agility too. Sweet. Wait, oh, yeah, I probably should check the outfits too. Nope. Oh, an afro. Uh, nep gear only. Everyone looks fly with an afro that blocks the sky. I don't know. Afros suck. Okay, this is interesting. Why is there always a sword like lodged into people's heads? I don't get that. Nep gear dom. <laughs> Nepgear only. Everyone's favorite Nepgear robot. Nepgear Dom. Okay, that's a little a, a bit of an interesting robot to have, Nepgear. It's very interesting indeed. And Nepgear eye mask. Nepgear only. Let's all wear this and scream. Okay. I won't wear it. I won't be wearing it. Okay, so something about like, uh, the fact that like, uh, there's a lily rank in this and such. No stat buffs. Can I can like, uh, see that too. No stat buffs. Immune to stat lowering. Ooh, that sounds really cool. It allowed damage to surpass 9999. Break, break damage limit. Okay, I should probably consider getting that at some point. I think these are like uh, skills they give you, like, when they're in the back, right? Yeah. Required X SP. Reduces SP uses for skills, okay? And magic defense. Increases magic defense. Okay. I think the most things in like these RPGs is that apparently like you use like a uh, four party members, so I think we like to dedicate the two damage dealers, one magic user, and a healer. Right? I bet I'm guessing. So yeah, so gain EXP, gains more EXP for battles, and cooldown reduction recovers from skill use faster. Oh sweet. Okay, for some reason like Cop is at like, number level two. Like what the fuck? What the fuck? I thought you two liked each other. Yeah, we kind of do, but sometimes. I don't know, it's kind of annoying me how Iffy keeps telling me not to kill people. It's, it's just so freaking annoying. And I keep telling you, Kampa, that you should go to a therapist. Nah, but I don't like therapists. They give me some weird, tasty cookies. Oatmeal. Oh my god. Alright, let's get it move on then. Let's, uh, you know, I, I gotta, like, figure out how do I do this thing with the. I think it's plans, right? Super EXP up. Ooh, I could try and get this. And Stella's, you know, star. Dungeon unlocked. Um, let's think about that. How many uh, MB do I got? Okay, like 64, so. Okay, uh, virtual forest, I haven't changed this. Start with that first. Alright, let's uh, get uh, super EXP up. Might as well. 
and Stella's Dungeon Unlocked. I wonder where that is. What the heck is this? That was a... What was this called? I think it was an SNES controller? I didn't even notice this until now. What the... Ah, oh, that's sweet. I like how they're really putting attention to detail in the map and such. For like these, uh, you know, gaming references. Pretty sweet. Alright, let's head on to the Virtual Forest and like, uh, find some items. Oh, there's also an event I missed, I think. There's an event here. Stella's Dungeon. This is a real-time RPG about Stella and Furless exploring the dungeons. Access this mini game from any city menu. After you choose the equipment for Stella and Phyllis, select the dungeons to end the death to explore, then press the start button to begin. Even when the main game is not being played, time will elapse, so it is recommended to send her off on an adventure before you quit. If Stella and Phyllis succeed, they may return with items. If they fail, any equipped items they had on or had found will be lost forever. But even if you ask her to delve through the dungeon, the stronger the enemies get, so deploy Stella carefully. When the dungeon is cleared, you may get a special item. You can check her progression via the mini games log. Find found under Stella's dungeon. Ah, I, ne I never saw this before. It's a little bit interesting. So I can just like send her to Virtual Force and Virtual Force Depths. It's like uh, several things I can take her then, right? Yeah. Okay then, uh, let's start with like Virtual Forest. Oh, okay, start. Equipment not selected. How do I select equipment? I don't think I even have a, a weapon, do I? Alright, let's like give it a shot at least to see what happens from it. I might get some, some weapons from it or something. Oh, some new weapons too, I think. Claw. Steel gauntlets made to be worn over both knuckles. They are designed to be hidden away in oversized sleeves. Alright, here you go, Ify. And then it's probably one for like... Actually, there's no, nothing for Kampa for some reason. What the fuck? Where's my weapon? I don't know, Kampa, but clearly the game has something against you. Damn, I should have known. Fucking cheapskates. You could also give like Nepgear or Hades soul to like... Nah, 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 that's how this is first. Oh yeah, she's looking like Wolverine right now. That's pretty gnarly to be honest. Okay, let's like finally get to Virtual Force and find these items. I will get on with the story, I trust me, I will. Now, if I'm a betting man, this is probably gonna be like a hidden item somewhere. It's gotta be. Alright, let's see if I can, like, uh, how much damage to do with this. <laughs> okay! Okay, Neftier, <laughs> Jesus Christ! What shot are these guys? What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh god, I have a bad feeling that, like, I'm gonna get overpowered in this fucking game. Yeah, she's just basically one-shotting these guys. It's not even fair. Straight through their guard gauge, too. Alright, quest group completed. I wasn't even going after the quest, but sure. Okay, Nepgear, you're leveling up again. Oh god. I really feel like I shouldn't have, like, turned that on. There's the item. SP Charger gathered. Sweet. Oh god, is Nippy gonna one-shot this guy? Yep. Oh god. God, for some reason he can't get his, like, timing right. I love how they're not doing any damage to us. Like, zero damage. Okay, we're at the start of the game, guys. Come on. Come on. You know, I suppose they also, like, change the, uh, leader, too, just in case. Just for the sake of the... And, uh, and of course, Scott has a weird, dopey run to, to it. And it makes absolutely no sense. And I'm guessing Ify still has her, like, Naruto run, right? Yep, she does. <laughs> God dang, you two girls do not... You, you, you girls cannot, like, run normally, can you? you no, know, wish there was a way to, like, run faster in these dungeons. I have no clue why we can't we can't do that. Alright, so let's like turn in this quest here. I think we have to like uh, go through the next dungeon in order to do that, so. Alright. All ready to go. So how's the uh Stella's dungeon? Did she go or not? Oh, I didn't even send her. Whoopsies. My bad. I forgot to send her somewhere. Here we go! Okay. Let's see how it goes. Alright, let's head on to the Virtual Forest Depths. Let's do our best. This mascot here? Which way should we go first? 
Hmm. Crap! Don't move! That monster is acting strange. It is? Whoa! It, it just... As I thought. Huh? Goodness! What's going on? Monsters are vulnerable to the deity of Sin's influence, especially when considering all of the shares as a sick has. When monsters are trait tainted by that influence, they evolve into a more vicious form, just like we saw. It's called going viral! They said that women should not have rights on Twitter, and they said the N-word! Viral! They're far more powerful after transformation, so keep your card up. Now don't worry, we got like a, a sword that can like one-shot them. Here we go! Alright, viral enemies. Some monsters can go viral during battle. This will cause them to become far more vicious. Monsters that have gone viral are not to be underestimated. If a monster gets viral, others are more likely to get infected as well. The way I didn't understand what viral meant, so <laughs> what was viral referencing until now? Now, still has returned. Alright, let's one-shot you, flowers. Easy. Yeah, oh, oh, okay. It took like three yo know, hits to kill you, but yeah. I got poisoned. Alright, let's like kill you. Okay, one-shot it, as usual. And done. That was easy. Nothing to be proud about. We need to get stronger. Level seven. Heal skill. Compass antidote. Yeah. All right. What does this skill do? Compass antidote cures one ally's poison. Ah, sweet. Okay, let's like fight these like this mushroom. It's a weird jellyfish over there. He talks in and all that. Blah blah blah. blah. Ah, I keep timing this freaking wrong! Nothing much. I have to, like, explore. Oh yeah, the Piranha Plant from Mario! Still wondering how Nintendo has not fucked over the, the devs of this game with this shit. They must have been very meticulous about how they're, like, you know, you know taking references and such. Level 8, level 8, level 8. Merry Merry Memorial. And done. Okay, there's three areas I can go to. I see they're all connected. There's the event too, so let's it this way. Oh, there's a wolf over there. You know what? I feel a little bit confident. I might as well try. I'm not running just because you look need tough. to calm myself. Alright. Yep. Uh-huh. So. Oof, that hurt. I'm... And done. All the way up to level 11. Radical Saber. Power combo. Alright, so what's this, like, uh, I think it's a command, right? It's power. No. Rush. Oh, is it SP skill? No. Hold on, I could have sworn Nip here got something. Huh, that's weird. I don't. I, I guess it's like a finisher of some kind? I have to wait until I unlock the finishers? To be strange, but okay. Oh my god, we're loving all the crazy. Compass and turn kit and tech support. Oh god. So many skills. Compass and turn kit. Restores 3% HP to all allies in, allies in range. Oh, sweet. And IF. The Microferno and tech support. Alright. Ooh, idle gather too. Sweet. You can find a spider web, which is, should be in this area too. If you find it. Oh, there's a spot over here. Hmm, looks like a fishing spot. With a bracelet and SP charger gathered. All right, let's see what this event is all about. Oh, is that it over there? I think I see something. Me too. Wait. Huh? Someone's already there. Seems as though that person is trying to break something. What the goodness? Please stop. Oh, hello. Huh? Who the hell are you three? You better stay out of my way, kids. Huh, that's an interesting design. What the fuck are you wearing? Is that like a Mickey Mouse hoodie? Likewise, Missy. What are you doing to the mascot? Uh, destroying it. Duh. Orders from ASIC. They're a nuisance. Oh, I had to actually say it like A ASIC. I thought it was a sick. <laughs> Okay, thank, thank God. Kind of made it difficult for you to take him seriously. You're a member of ASIC, then. Huh. Not like 
I got any reason to explain myself to you, but all right, listen up. I'm a proud and mighty member of ASIC's Frontline Infantry, Linda. Don't you forget it. Linda? Frontline Infantry? Wouldn't that make you just one of their expendable underlings? Definitely an underling. Miss Underling is definitely an underling. <laughs> what? Where the hell do you get off calling me an underling, huh? No, you gotta look like one, to be honest. Underling's the only name you need. Underling. Now beat it! Oh, okay. We're just gonna do this. Please move out of our way, Miss Underling. Yes, please do, before I kill you. I, I really want to kill you so bad. I just need to get off the itch, you know? Yeah, you better listen to her, Miss Underling, because she, she may look cute, but underneath that smile is death. If she's just an underling, maybe I could fight her. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I think I can handle her. I think, I think you one shot her. I have this like, sword that is definitely not foreboding in any way shape before, and based on its coloring. Ugh. Underling this, underling that. Enough already, you brat. Now you've really pissed me off. You'll regret calling me that. Oh, what? Jeez, how is she this powerful? Do you think it's because ASIC has so many of this area's shares? Ha! Huh. For so much bark, you idiots had no bite at all. Now to kill you one by one, starting with... Hmm. Let's start with you, brat. Um, well, but I didn't really do anything, so... Yeah, I totally didn't do anything. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, this this usually works on people. Finally, if only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. What? Uh, if only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. What the fuck are you talking about? What is this wind? You're already here. What? What do you need to get to get here faster if you're already here? Is this some random shit you're just saying just to, like throw me off? Well, it's not gonna work. Oh fuck. No, it's not good at all. Why did you save me like that? I'm not even carrying my own weight. I don't know, you're pretty much one shotting everyone, Neck Gear. I, I think you're doing fine. That's not important. I saved you because I wanted to. Nothing more. I don't understand. I wasn't there to help you all three years ago. I don't want to feel that helpless again. Well, to be honest, uh, I have. Uh, Neptune didn't bring you because you were kind of useless. I I'm, I'm just gonna be. I'm I'm just gonna be real. Don't, don't shoot the messenger, okay? So I decided to protect you and everyone else, no matter what. I am. Yeah. Enough of the soap opera crap. If you two want to die together, I'd be happy to grant that wish. I'm so scared, but I need to fight. I have to become stronger, otherwise all my friends will suffer. I won't let that happen. Finally, you got your passion back. Think you can take her on yourself? I can win. I swear it. That a girl. Now then, Nepgear. What? I. Um, Num. What? Let me pass my strength over to you. Throw a kiss. Throw a kiss at me. Really? The fuck? All right, we just we just powered up with the power of Yuri and shit. Ah, sweet. Now we've become even more overpowered. What? Oh crap! You're a CPU. Prepare yourself. I'm not going to lose ever again. Hard Drive Divinity. By sacrificing 20% of their max HSP, the CPUs and CPU candidates can activate their Hard Drive Divinity forms. When Hard Drive Divinity HDD is active, the CPU processor units installed, amplifying all of their abilities while active. Alright, sweet. It's gonna be a one-shot, so let's go. I won't lose, no matter how strong they are. Uh, let's see. Mirage Dance. Might as well just do an underling. Oh shit, we're doing a lot. Not yet. 
All right, easy peasy. You're just dead. Don't judge me just because I'm only a goddess candidate. Level 13. Chaos Edge. Power combo. Ah, damn it, that's so not fair. I mean, transforming and stuff? Come on. I swear to God, Dad, I, you must have used DLC items. Just no way you one shot at me with that one skill. The fuck? I'll spare your life if you leave now in peace. Oh, yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. If you think I'd say that, pull your head out of your ass. I got a job to do. No, wait. Why would I listen to you? Ah! The mascot! Oh, shoot. <laughs> Serves it right. I'm all done here. Next up, Last Station's mascot. Don't you run away! Ah, oh, jeez. She's too fast for her own good. Oh, no. The mascot. Worry not, CPU candidate. Oh, purple disc. That's his, that's his name. A purple disc, even though you don't look like a disc. Huh? A voice? But who? I am this nation's mascot. How unexpected to have my body destroyed while I was sleeping. Um, so you're okay? I mean, you're talking even after you got smashed to pieces. Well, to be honest, I don't even have a mouth, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank uh, yeah. Okay is not quite accurate, but fortunately, I was able to separate part of my power from my body. Here, I will grant what power I have left to you. Oh, sweet. More power. More. Honey, give, give more power. This is the power of a nation's mascot, then? CPU candidate, I have no way of knowing what has transpired since I began my long slumber. But I have faith that you will use my power for a just cause. Oh yeah, totally. We're not gonna use it to, like, don't, you know, rule the world or anything. Totally not. We're, we're, we're definitely trustworthy. Purple test, totally. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're 100% trustworthy. Don't worry, don't worry, guys. Apparently that power has the ability to summon big titty waifus. You mind doing me a solid? And just like that, the mascot vanished completely. Man, that was a close call. Yes, but we managed. All thanks to you, I guess. Yep, yeah, that the power of Yuri. <laughs> it was a little embarrassing, though. Okay, seriously, Yuffie, did, did, was there no other way you could have like given me your power? Like no other way at all? Just like I don't know, grab my boobs, something at least, or my ass? You had to transfer it through a kiss? Really? Eh, well, hey, you know what the saying goes: what goes around goes around. That's, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm kind of tired today. And I don't get to kill anyone? Are you fucking serious? God, you guys are such pussies. This entire franchise is run by a bunch of pussies, man. I'm gonna go off and do my own spin off. Papa's Murderous Adventures. Yeah, that has a nice ring to it. What? No, that's not how it was, idiot. Um, oh, let's hurry back and report this to Iswa. Yeah, whatever, get me, whatever. Put your ass on block on Twitter. Is that another person here? Might as well, a glasses girl. My Coke bottle glasses makes it hard to leave a compression. I need a different pair. Alright, whatever you say. Alright, back to Planet Tune. It appears that you have indeed secured the power of Planet Tune's mascot. However, we now know that ASIC and its cronies are aware of the mascot's existence, too. How the fuck they managed to figure that out? Miss Underling said she was gonna take a trip to Last Station next. Oh, go do it the usual order. Like Planet Tune, Last Station, Louis, Lean Box, and then back to Planet Tune. That's probably gonna be the order. We should chase her quick, or she'll get there ahead of us again. I see that Netgear's passion has been relit. Yes, yeah, so the power of Yuri, I saw all of it. That, that weird kiss that, that if he gave to Netgear. We're gonna continue talking about it until the very end of the game. It's definitely gonna be a plot relevant within the future Neptunia Let's Plays. I'm totally, I'm one hundred percent sure. Um, yes, I'm still fighting off some of my fear, but I should be fine now. Excellent. I suggest you do as I said and hurry over to Last Station next. Regain shares and seek the mascot. 
Oh, I nearly forgot to give you an important piece of advice. Yeah? What is it? CPU candidates, like Nectar, reside in both Glass Station and Louis. Why have we have not contacted them? We're on, like, friendly terms with these nations, right? Why don't we just, like, contact all, like, uh, all of them? I recommend you seek their aid on your journey as well. That would make them Noir and Blonde's younger sisters. Oh, that's right. The, I, Bert doesn't have a TPU candidate for some reason. TPU candidates? Other girls like me. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, of course, like... The, the candidates are apparently based off of, like, the handhelds of the, uh, the consoles and such. So, Nepgear is based off of the Sega... Was it... It wasn't Sega Genesis. I think it was Sega... It was Sega something. I think it was the Sega Saturn? I think it was the Sega Saturn, I think. While one of the other candidates is going to be based off the handhelds of Sony or PlayStation and of Nintendo or the Wii and such. Fortunately, Bird is based off the Xbox, and Microsoft never made a handhold like uh, Xbox games. Heh, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Each nation has their own situation to deal with, so they may refuse at first, but making contact is vital. After all, I am certain they share your desire to save their sisters. Sounds like we have our plan. Let's get to last station. Alright. I first gotta do some grinding and I feel like I feel like I fucked up and you're like Oh say Okay, it's like I guess like it's the end of a chapter or something. Chapter two The Crossroads of Defeat Ah man, that's a this feels like it's an awkward place to like end the episode off, isn't it? Wow. Last station is chock full of nifty gadgets and machines. No, no, right here in last station, okay. Coming here, Gigi? Yes, but I've heard stories from Neptune about it. She'd bring me baggies of gear sometimes. What, were you like a little munchkin kid or something? Some shit? What, is Neptune your mother in some in some way, shape, or form? Or whatever. Oh, this place looks like so much fun for tinkering. It'd be great if we could look around a bit. Cool your jets. We have more important things to deal with right now. Yeah, you're right. We have to do our best, or last station will be in danger. Must not window shop. Iffy, do you know of any leads? Well, we should head to the guild first. We can get intel and take on quests to recover shares there, too. All right. We're all right in the last station. Sweet. Uh, there's some more stuff down here, too. Oh, hold on, let's like, uh, go back to, you know, Planet 2 and check this out. Oh, wait, it's still his dungeon. I'm back! Virtual Forest, search successful. Got a yellow petal. I'm still wondering how to, like, uh, equip her with, like, weapons. I don't know how to do that. Okay, well, let me, uh, make sure she goes all the way within the 10 minute span, then. Might as well. I don't have a weapon or anything, but... Searching A or area A, Tulip appears. Oh, there's more stuff here, Ashley. Open wide. Ooh, a vitality booster. Vitality to up by two. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Two appears. Still has tax. Still takes three damage. Oh, it's a log. I didn't know that. Yellow petal produced. Five XP. Still leveled up. Okay, I'm getting it now. Sweet. Okay, let me like uh, do the t ten hour thing then. Okay, let's like uh, do the stuff and like uh, plan to then. Uh, I have and combo. But first, let's like talk to D Bag once again. I'm D Bag. Running is my life's work. Running, the rat race of success. Now I sure whatever you say, dude. Miss Manual. Stat boosting skills, huh? Use them against tough enemies. It's worth taking the turn to power up your stats, honest. Yep, it is. Saturn Shiro. The name Saturn Shiro. A fighter of fighting in the name of fun. The only true CPU to me is Neptune. I'm sure she'll return. I won't stop believing. She will return! Okay. Sure, dude. Sure. Duty, dude. I came from a 2D world. In other words, I can't go back. Oh, okay. Sometimes these things say the most random things. Oh, oh, Chibi. Oh, Chibi. I remember this, like, dog. I gave him some of the, the weirdest voice ever. Ran off the half pranks. Don't do your things, even against girls. Oh, but grandkids are an exception to this rule. 
Okay, weird dog. Insert Toichi. Oh shit, I forgot about this one. I, I actually forgot the voice I gave to this one. I was a run before I met my boss. I'm a good dog now, so everything looks different. I just met my boss for making me into a good dog. A good doggy. Alright, but better creator, what about you? What the fuck is up with you? Oh, you are my kind of, you have to dress kind of like a Majima, don't you, from uh, Yakuza. I don't care about R4. I'll just keep making awesome games. Okay, sure. Alright, Iffy. What do you have? You'll take her three days? Jeez, just how unlike his Toir. He swore your boss over the, the guild, right? Yeah, she's the Oracle and the guild's manager. It's admirable that she can handle both roles. How does this dwarf act at the guild? I only know her as an oracle, so... Well, she seems to know everything, and can do just about anything, but... Ladies dwarf, what are the estimated coordinates of S S ASICs based on operations this time? I am currently calculating, but the results will be ready in about three days. That's way too slow! Ladies dwarf, do you have any information on this suspect? That is a familiar face, but I would need about three hours to remember. Can you do it in three minutes? Pardon me, Lady Swar. I require a map showing all known distribution points of our four products. I can prepare that for you. However, compiling the data and mapping it will take about three months. In three months, the entire map will be outdated! <laughs> she takes way too long to do anything. <laughs> That's our East War. Ah, okay, it's like a, a small little event, like, uh, the top of the characters. That's nice. My recon team has nine other members. Otome-chan, Evelyn-chan, and the rest are classified. Ah, okay, interesting. And Kappa! Time to report in with Gigi. What am I reporting, you ask? <laughs> That's classified. Oh, God. What the fuck did you do, Kappa? What did you do? Everyone, please a snap. I am now a fully licensed nurse practitioner. Kelly, congratulations! You were just an intern when we first met, right? <laughs> While you were away, I was studying my bum off! I see. Three years is a long time. Oh, but if you become a nurse, you have to work at the hospital, right? Eh, don't sweat the small stuff. Let's just say they let me put in all my vacation hours, okay? If you take too long of a vacation, won't they fire you? If they do, I'll work at the free clinic or something. More importantly, if I'm gone, who'll take care of you and Ivy when you get covered in bruises? Kampa, you're so nice to us. Strangely enough. Despite despite your demeanor and all that, thank you for everything. No problem. You can get slapped silly as often as you want, but I'm here to bandage you up. <laughs> now it sounds like you enjoyed it when we were injured. Yeah, I totally do. God damn, dude. The way the blood just, like, you know, splurts out of your body, it, it makes me not want to heal you guys. Just so we can, like, watch it for even longer. Okay, Kappa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Kappa. I've been with Ivy for my whole life, you know? We've been buddies since we were just little babies. I was just as nervous back then, too. Ah, the good old days, the good old days. Oh god, Kappa. Okay, here it is. Processors and such. Because you like, unequip these things, but th these things were pretty much useless. Black Sailor. A lot of good stuff we can get. When I talk to these like people over here, Lind Amamiya. Oh yeah, got here. Let's go. Hey there, newcomer. Well, is everything? Let me tell you about how to choose the right weapon. What weapon will help you to survive the longest? Choose that one. And a Slayer. A battle between the CPUs and R4, light and dark. I mean, it's a lot more complicated than that for sure. Mr. Eno. I'm a human, and they assigned me to be a secretary. Not sure what I need to do, but it's no problem. Alright, and a fate metal chemist. Oh, oh, oh my god, it's, oh, of course, fate, full, full metal alchemist, of course. Equivalent exchange. I'll give you all of my life. So give me all of yours. I want to exchange my life. That's my best impression of ever, Elric. Okay, uh, that should be everything, but let me, like, check in my plans real quick. Felis Insurance. Uh, what does this do? Uh, gather materials and make it the plan. Felis Insurance Plan, okay. Whatever that is. 
And feel this express plan. Whatever that is, too. Okay, virtual force depths, item change. Let's get that. All right, let me go back to virtual force depths and, like, get some items. I need to, like, find the uh, hidden item here. RPG gathered. Yeah, you should probably, like, uh, uh, I gotta go back to the place to do that. Ooh, a beam blade. Let's see, a beam blade. A beam saber prototype. Not only does it cut with searing heat, but its additional weight provides more momentum and power. Ah, sweet. Dubai is really weak compared to my, like, uh, other weapon and such. Jesus Christ. This, like, weapon is, like... I feel like I'm doing... Oh! Oh, that's why. This weapon is freaking overpowered as shit. Like, 2,000 straight-up strength and magic attack. That is absolutely insane. And, like, agility and, like... Oh, God. I'm gonna be honest, I feel like this is, like, way too much for the game to give me, but... I don't know. I don't know, I'll leave it to you guys to see if you, like, have a problem with me, like, equipping that weapon. I don't know if, like, difficulty of this game is even that important, because this game is relatively weird with its, like, difficulty settings. Okay, got the spider web. Sweet. Oh, wait, is it around here? Nope. Should be around here somewhere, a hidden item. Oh, here it is. Windstone and a leather armlet gathered, okay. Sweet. Yeah, it should be all the quests now. Let's head on back. Alright, let me go. Oh. I'm sorry. Tough yet quiet, kind of pervy. Oh, Grandagu. Searching area 5 for a little bit. Okay, let's like lower it to 4 then. An RPG. EAC charge level 1. Increases the amount of EAC drive increases when attacking. Yeah, let's get that. Idle. Dragon defense. So it's damage received from dragon type foes. Plant defense, same for plants. And animal defense, same for animals. Okay, I'll like leave that for later. Let me get this for Nipgear then. I wonder what it looks like. Uh, the weapon looks like her, like, uh. Oh, no, different. Okay. Okay, guys. I think that's a perfect time to end this episode off. Yeah, I know it's good. This episode is going to be on the short end because of the fact that, like, I kind of, like, uh, you know, I think it must have ended the. Whole th the last episode on a weird like uh, place because now the next chapter started and we're gonna go to last station now. So that means the uh, next episode we're gonna go into the last station and figure out how to find the mascot there. But overall, I am very very worried about this like weapon and it's like a uh, plan here that I got, which is like basically super XP up. I feel like this is gonna make the game just way too fucking easy. Like literally no problem at all. Like I feel like when I like. You know, 10 levels above where we were originally. I could have sworn we were at level 3, but now we're at level 13. Which is not exactly a good idea for a let's play. I don't know, I'll leave it to you guys to like, uh, you know, maybe point out the fact that like, Oh, it's gonna be super easy, it's not gonna be a very interesting let's play if you one-shot everything. And if that was the case, I will very well go back to the previous save and just like, work my way back up without the weapon and the EXP. But I'll leave it to you guys to decide that. Anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth 2 Sisters Generation. If you did and would like to see more, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down in the comment section. And if you have not already, I would love for you to leave a subscribe. That would make me a very happy person. And I promise you all that this Therium will be around for the next episode. Until we meet again, guys, I bid you all a fun farewell.